Alright, welcome back to Jeremy's Casting Couch. Hey, What's up? Oh, What's up? <laughs> You're out of it, huh? So I'm here with Jeremy. Y'all know him. Y'all love him. You want to hear more from him, right? So we're going to talk to Jeremy. We're going <laughs> to we're gonna find out a little more about this, man. You know, I just kind of like live every day as if it was like my last. I don't really give a fuck, so, you know. What, do, what did you do the last week? What have you been doing? Uh, basically just been working. I'm trying to save up enough money to go to college and shit. Sleeping. Yeah, I'm going to New York You're too. You're fucking lying to me right I'm now, Jeremy. You. You've just been working. Uh, this past week, I lost my phone. I haven't. This motherfucker's been sleeping. Yeah, sleeping. Sleeping. You know, like that's living your life. You know. <laughs> <laughs> you you sleep in your life. What can I say? Do you want me to defend myself for fucking sleeping? No, I don't want you to defend yourself, Jeremy. Yeah, that's right. I just want you to be honest. Yeah. When was the last time you went to work? Uh, Monday, I think. Monday. Yeah. So you've been working. You've been week. working all week. And this is Friday. <laughs> this is Friday. Well, you last worked on week. Monday. Things, things came <laughs> but up. But you mean that you were <laughs> sleeping? Things came up. You know, it's just life. You know. We thought this man died. We didn't have his, he lost his phone. Well, I lived, bitch. And he didn't go to work. <laughs> came back to So we dead thought he was dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But we found his address, pulled up to his house. Yeah, they just showed he's up alive. into my room, bro. Like, I was about to die, and then they just showed up to my fucking bedroom, and I was like, dude, I'm ready for round two, so like. And now Jeremy's back, dude. He's yeah. back and better than ever. He's back in action. He's fucking live in 3D, living color. Yeah. Jeremy, would you buy those? No. Jeremy, why are you being such an asshole Dude, today? Dude, socks are fucking dirty. I'm not going to bite them off his feet, bro. Unless he was dirty and your asshole is fucking brown. How about I shove these fingers up your asshole and then we'll see who's laughing, huh? Yeah, how about I taste them after? Go fuck yourself. And then we'll see who's fingers <laughs> Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Alright, Jeremy, what's your favorite thing to do in your free time? Uh, fucking shit, ball and hang out pretty much. Bro, you gotta get more specific. You know? like, talk about your actual life. All right, all right. All right. What do you want to know, like, J Jeremy. What do you want to know about it? Jeremy, what is your favorite thing to do in your free time? Fucking pimp it out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> fucking pimp it out, dude. Fucking fucking <laughs> fucking boogie down, bro. Sit around, smoke beers. <laughs> dude, do you beers. send college beers? Yeah, dude, bro. I show up to all of the frat parties, bro. You already know it, bro. Jeremy actually has been to a frat party. Yeah. I know, because I, I, I put him there. I put him there. <laughs> I fucking I dropped him. Sausage from their fridge. I hella dropped him, dude. I yeah. pulled up in a helicopter and let him, like, crawl out on a ladder. And he swung in, made his heroic entrance. Yeah. And I just fucking murdered everyone and ate their <laughs> limbs from their bodies, bro. It, it was, was just wild. the limbs? Yeah. That's a real waste of meat, bro. I shouldn't do that. Well... You know, you I cut that fucking asshole out and ate it, dude. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? What are your life goals? Uh, I want to join the military and see the world, you know? Go to, like, fucking Europe and shit. Like, I want to see Australia. That's one of what? Oh, good. Can you pick where you get deployed? No. No, you can't? Are you sure? I think once you get to a certain point, you can, like, pick where you get deployed. Or not deployed, but, you know, you know what I mean. If you're talking like starting off, I don't think no, so. No, not starting no. off, no. For sure, no. So where do you think you'll end up living? Where I mean, where can we find the elusive Jeremy Hackett in 10 years? I honestly couldn't tell you, bro. Like, in the military, you get shifted around a lot to, like, different military bases. My That's parents, true. uh, we were born in a uh, San Diego in California. Really? Yeah. We moved to, like, all around the fucking country. Well, on that note, like, how often do you shave your pubes? <laughs> like, it depends on the season. So, like, in winter, I just let it grow out. And during the summer where it's, that, where it's like, fucking hot, I'm just shaving all the time, bro. Dude, that's actually smart. Yeah. I don't do it seasonally, dude. I just fucking, whenever I feel like it, trim the bitches up. <laughs> I usually trim it. I don't, I don't go clean shave yeah, no, usually. Clean shave's not really. Once in a while, yeah, you have to, I yeah. feel like. But, like, not all the time. I used to get in there with scissors, dude. 
I, I have done that, but uh, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's too much. And I've, like, clipped myself with scissors before, like, a really? little bit, a little pinch. Oh, you know what? I think oh, shit hurts, dude. I fucking clipped my flesh. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I did, bro. That's exactly flesh. what I did. <laughs> dude, didn't Rand tell you about when he fucking, <clears throat> first time shaving, dude, he, like, fucking ripped it, dude? He used soap, too, I'm pretty sure. No, I don't, I think he just used water. Oh, and he, really? like, fucking... Like he ripped his shit. Oh man, that's gnarly. Showered. Jeremy, would you suck a girl's toes? I mean, like, yeah. If I got to don't know be her, bashful like, about like, it. Like, you know, it's like kind of a sensitive topic. You know, sucking girls' toes is like something you sensitive. keep in the bedroom and shit. Well, but you. Ha- I'm not saying like, whose toes did you suck? Yeah. I guess. I'm saying hypothetically speaking, if there's a woman who is willing to let you put her mouth. Put your mouth on her feet. If she, if that's what she wanted, I guess I could like go for it. Yeah, I know that's not like what I'm into, but like. But you can fuck with it, given the right circumstances. Uh, sure, I can fuck with like. I would suck toes, dude. I I won't fucking. I won't lie. I would. I would suck some toes. They were clean. If they're clean and nice, dude. They were like dirty. Well, well manicured toes, dude. I'll suck that down. Fucking suck a witch's toe, dude. Yeah, would you suck like an old wrinkly, like dirty green granny green toe with like with like fucking fungi? Fungi. <laughs> <laughs> I think if right. it had fantastic fungi growing all over it, would you fantastic suck it down? Fungi. <laughs> yes. What, what the fuck? Have you seen that? No. It's a documentary. It's fantastic fungi. Let's check it out, dude. It's a good documentary, dude. <laughs> Anyways, who's the hottest girl you've ever seen? Holy shit. You can it can be a celebrity, it can be somebody you met, or it could just be like a stranger. If it's like a stranger to describe her. Like what was a memorable female that you remember being exceptionally attractive, sir? Uh you know that girl we met in uh Ithaca? The one I asked out and she said like she had to move away in a few months. Oh yeah, I know you don't The yellow hoodie girl? Yeah. Oh she, I liked her. I like I liked her energy, you know. Like I thought. Yeah, that's the one that when we like, walked away, we were like, yeah, dude, she seems like what are the boys? I don't think it was the other day. It was like fucking... probably like a week ago. Me, Jules, Johnny, and Matt, we went to uh, Tolly's to get food, and on the way home, there was like this like ginger girl. She was with her uh, dad, and I kept like head bobbing. I was staring at her, dude, and she kept smiling, dude. She was so fucking gorgeous, dude. <laughs> and dude, it's weird because she looks so familiar, like really fucking familiar. Really. Like, I've seen her before, but I've never seen her. It's weird. But, like, I don't know, dude. Her smile is so fucking nice. You should have gone and we, up there. You we didn't go up to her? Light. We caught her up the light, and I was fucking, like, just fucking around <laughs> smiling at her and shit, dude. And That's was, funny. And she was talking to her dad, and they were fucking dying, dude. You little fucker. You little dog. In there, you little dog. They were telling me to get out, too, like, at the light. Dude, you should have got then, it. She would have rolled her yeah, window down like, and came like, let me get the snow. And literally, I didn't do it, and then, like, three seconds later, the light changed. So I was like, thank God I didn't do it, dude. What if they just went and parked down the side of the road? Imagine. And then you cling onto the side of, yeah, you cling like, onto the side of her car and be like, yo, give me the snap. And you're, you're hanging off had, while like, they're driving. If I paper, I would have, like, wrote it down. <laughs> yeah. Give me your number. Yeah. Or you could have wrote yours down so you could edit it. Mm-hmm. I could have sent her like a link to like fucking child porn or something. Yeah, like, you could have sent you could have sent her a link to one two. You could give her your Netflix password, mm-hmm. and like you could you could ask her on a date to watch one two three movies. One two three movies. You know that movie pirating site? Yeah, that's the. Uh, you guys could rent. Ed- you could get any movie you want for free, like dude. It'd be a great time. <laughs> yeah. No, but dude. I, I know the guy who like fucking. You literally could have used Jeremy to fucking get yeah. a date. Dude. Yeah. Dude, my friend's got this uh, sweet pirating, movie pirating. <laughs> dude, my friend, he's got this gig going. It's a se- sweet, like, pirating shit, dude. He can get us any movie we want for free, bro. She'd be like, no shot. Not like Wait, literally so anyone could do any that. Movie you want for free? Yeah, how do you do that, by the way? Like, that's It's not free, but, like, it's... You pay, like, 17 cents. Yeah. You buy, like... How do you buy them? You just buy a digital copy? Yeah. It's like, like, burner copies and shit, you know? Got gotcha. you. So that Ithaca girl was the hottest girl you've ever seen? Uh, she saw I can, like, well, you know. You gotta, like, That's a recent no, example of a hot girl you've seen. No, there was this other girl, you know. Back in uh, Ween Silver in Ithaca. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, I don't know her name, bro. I used to work with her. I had, like, one shift with her, but uh, I still can't stop thinking about her, bro. Like, really? It's, like, fucking, it's fucking with me, bro. Like. Why? What, what about her? Like, I thought she was, like, interested in me. 
and I like I thought she was really cute, but like I never got a chance to like go any further since we only had like one shift together. Bro, stop back in there. Stop every back. single day until you see her working. Then run back no, to like, the kitchen. I don't think she's working. But give her your Snapchat. I know, right? Hey, we like, need to go back to Wings Over Ithaca. No, that's that's Wings Over Ithaca is heat, bro. Yeah. I mean, I guess. We literally just like, we just went there though. Oh really? Yeah. At like one in the morning, dude. That shit's heat, bro. Yeah, that was good. That, that was one. Prime time. Yeah. Jamie, what's your favorite porn genre? Not that I condone the consumption of pornography. Don't do it. It's not worth it. Yeah. But in case Jeremy's a young connoisseur, I just wanna. I'm curious. Uh. Shit. Uh, favorite porn genre. Gills. I don't really like masturbate anymore, but like threesomes, those are pretty cool. Two guys or two girls? It's two girls, bro. <laughs> Fuck. No. We're not gay in here. Yeah. yeah no, okay, buddy. No dicks, bro. No dicks. No dicks, no balls. Yeah. You don't approve of dick or balls. <laughs> that was so funny in the jail. <laughs> yeah, I did. That no was. No dicks, no balls. <laughs> Jeremy, do you believe in God? Yeah. You do? Oh yeah, I'm a I'm a reformed uh, Christian. Reformed. So did you not used to be Christian? Uh kind of like. I was like unsure. I was unsure. Yeah, yeah, I, that's actually cool. Recently, I've been feeling like I actually do believe in God, yeah. and I never thought I did. But I don't think of it like the traditional sense of like. <clears throat> A dude with a beard. But I feel like a lot of people really don't. No. They just don't really talk about it. I feel like no one, like, really... Yeah, people don't really, like, believe that yeah, shit. No. I don't think he has, like, a physical appearance. Yeah, a physical He's form. Like, like a like a metaphor-type beat. He's, like, like energy. A, you can't yeah, actually... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The theory I heard that I liked is, like, basically, like, everyone's soul is, like, makes up God. And when you die, it, like, goes back and, re- and joins the whole collection of, like everyone's soul and that is god yeah pull his dogs out matter dude one thing you got to know about jeremy is that he will take his fucking socks off and he won't fucking hesitate dude he'll do that at any time i didn't have a choice for him. if relaxation is in the fucking books for the night his dogs are coming out so be ready i like i like to keep myself <laughs> at home I'm, i like Jeremy to be stalls. comfortable August yeah 7th. jeremy jeremy settles right in dude. Mm-hmm. you don't gotta worry about that shit I don't like being at, like, tense situations. Like, I just want to be in the moment chilling, you know? Mm-hmm. So I, th- I just had an idea. Why don't we, uh, like, recount moments from the from the Pit My Jeremy series so far? Oh, man. And you, like, tell me your thoughts. Like, what were you thinking as it was going down? All right. So, like, asking college girls to prom. How were you feeling during that video, like, from the beginning? And how did it change by the end? I was feeling, like, really fucking uneasy, like, I don't know, I was, it was just, like, really hard for me to overcome, like, that, that mountain, like, pushing upwards, you know, Mm -hmm. by the end, it was just, like, it was just, like, something I had to do to, like, get out, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's one of those things that, like, the more you do it, the easier it becomes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I just think I need, like, the fucking experience yeah. of talking to people to, like, better. When it comes to girls, it's honestly really good to, like, just be friends with a lot of girls. Because that helps you, like, get more comfortable talking to them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, like, even strangers, like, just being comfortable saying words to girls helps a lot, honestly. Because I remember when I was young and I was yeah. so fucking, like... It's it yeah it's like a weird, I don't know what it is like I guess it's just like the way society builds it up like with movies and mm-hmm. shit, like it, you feel like you have to act a certain way, yeah. and it makes you like fucking shit your pants. Honestly, but then once you realize you don't really need to like do any specific thing, it becomes way easier. You'll figure it out. Like you just know. gotta you just gotta yeah. keep get, getting at it. You're pretty comfortable I, around like Jalen and everybody. I know because like they're just fucking friends like. I just, I don't That's have any I game. I don't have any fucking it's game. Like when it's, That's my problem. When someone I know I'm just, like, friends with, it's, like, it's nice and easy. But when there's, like, that buildup, like, some random girl I don't know, and I think she's yeah. attractive, and I yeah. want to shoot my shot, it's, like, there's that buildup. Puts, like, a, yeah, yeah, like, like a pit this. in my stomach. Mm-hmm. Makes me, like, almost anxious. 
Yeah, I'm not scared of girls. <laughs> I'm scared of, like, fucking rejection and shit. Yeah, it's definitely easier when there's some sort of, like, opening that happens naturally. Like, you, like, see them somewhere or something. Yeah, like, yeah, but like if sure. if it's you have to approach them and they're busy doing something else, that's definitely makes it a lot harder. I feel like that's why a lot of people choose to like date in their hometown. Yeah, it's just because it's people you knew growing up, yeah. and it's just well, it's a natu- like yeah. the connection happens naturally uh, without like yeah, you but just familiar faces really. Yeah. It definitely takes a lot more balls to do it the way you've been doing it. Mm-hmm. Fuck yeah, dude. And you you're going up to like some fucking. Units. <laughs> Some units. Dude, if I just keep throwing, aiming high, I'm gonna hit on target eventually. I'm gonna find someone, and I'm, I'm committed to it. You know. The only thing is, you don't want to be thinking just about girls, bro. That's true. That's because true. you want a girl who's gonna like it's stick like, it out with you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you don't want to meet them just by like random circumstances, yeah. and they're you can't, you can't force it. That it has to come like next. If they like you just based off like one impression. That's good, but also, like, sometimes girls act like they're, like, obsessed super early, and that's a sign that it's going to go by like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you want... the An actual connection with someone kind of happens slowly. So if it happens super fast, it's usually, like, suspect. In my experience, at least. Do you agree with that? Mm-hmm. No, I agree with that for sure. Usually they're, like, easy and, like, just, I don't know, makes their personality, like, butt cheeks. Yeah, and then they'll they'll usually move on pretty fast. Yeah, yeah. So like, you just want to be careful who you set yourself up with. Just remember, like, you have a long time to find a girlfriend. You know, you can still have, have, like make connections with girls and yeah, talk to girls. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't focus like on that. I would let it just kind of happen. Like, talk to girls. If you meet someone, you know, obviously take it that next step. But if it's like turns out to be someone you don't want, like. Yeah. Don't don't push it if it's not gonna work. Cause you're definitely right that you're gonna find a girl who <laughs> wants to be in a relationship, but sometimes girls literally just want a relationship and they do not care who it's with, and those do not last ever. Yeah, no, those girls are shit too. Yeah. So you want you want to like wait it out and make sure you find like someone who fits you. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think it's a mistake everyone makes early on is like dating people who they would never actually have an interest in. But they're interested in them because they're showing interest in you. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're just like, you feel like you need to make the shot. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sad, dude. I don't know. No. I just made a face at him for no reason. My bad. What were you saying? You just feel like you feel the need to like make a shot. Yeah. Yeah. Where were we gonna? Oh, I forgot what we were even starting with. Um, what's it like another moment from the series we could ask him about? The, the first, first episode, one, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, How, what were you expecting? Were you expecting it to be, like, a series? I think I told you it might be when we started the first video, right? Uh, I think it was, like, thrown out there, but yeah, it was never really... Ideas, but no yeah, one, like, full plan. No one yeah. really thought it would, like, go that far. Right. What do, what do you remember from shooting the first episode? Uh, I remember I was a lot more, like, nervous. I wasn't really, like... I don't know, I was... Not being yourself as much? Yeah, I was just, like, not really comfortable since, like, I was still, like, in shock from, like, just saying it now and shit. Mm-hmm. But, uh, you know, eventually, like, once the ice was broken, it got really warm. I think you're, honestly, since the beginning of, of the just making videos with you, I feel like your confidence has already grown a lot. Yeah. Like, you seem... Like, you're a lot more comfortable to act like yourself. It helps with, like, the weightlifting. Like, that's been a big thing for me since... Yeah. Uh, I just feel like shit without it, to be honest, mm-hmm. at this point. Well, that's good, dude. I was in, like, a good cycle with that, and I fucking fell right out of it. Mm-hmm. But that's yeah, good that, you're, that you're consistent with it, because you will see progress. You better be getting sleep, though, because if you're not getting sleep, I'm you literally... I'm not getting sleep right now. It's, like, 3 in the morning, bro. You literally, like fucking, well, yeah, but like, dude, you just, just, I'm talking consistently yeah, yeah. on a regular basis. Because, oh, yeah, like, you literally won't grow muscle if you yeah. aren't getting sleep. Jeremy, if you're going to start a business tomorrow, what would it be? Hmm. Uh, shit. Uh, if you're going to write a book tomorrow, what would the book be about? If 
If you were gonna uh, make a movie next week, what would the movie be about? You know, I've had this uh, movie floating around in my mind. It's called uh, "Sit by Me." <laughs> I knew you were gonna do that, you Sit motherfucker! <laughs> Fuck it's you, about, dude. Yeah, it's about uh, this kid who like. He doesn't Fuck really you, you're not doing this right now. <laughs> you're not revealing my movie idea on the fucking camera, dickhead. Someone's gonna steal that shit. Live Is he gonna fucking <laughs> copyright it? Copyright the entire He's gonna go movie. make it in two days and fucking put it out. Mm-hmm. Because he actually doesn't procrastinate like me. So I'm a piece of shit. <laughs> 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 Alright, Jeremy. Is there anything you wanna, like, share? If you had a message for the viewers, like, some word of advice or, like, what... What can we learn from Jeremy? What do you have to say? Uh, just like, I don't know. I have nothing like. No, come on, come on, come on. You're you're hesitating. I have you have something. Like really corny, bro. It doesn't it's, matter. It's true, it does not matter. Say it, anything, but say it with confidence. Look at the camera and say what you have to say with confidence. Just like try to live life to the fullest. Come I on, think. dude. I know you're holding know back. You have more to say than that. I Wait. know you do. Shit. You're holding yourself back. Kind of, but... Come on, bro. I'm trying to, like, formulate... You don't, have to, you don't have to come off a certain way. Just say whatever you actually think about anything. Like, it doesn't have to be super motivational. It can be whatever... Just be honest. Like, true to yourself. All right. Well, fuck all of it. Just be yourself. That's what I have to say. Boom. That's your... There you go. That's your advice. This has been Port Hub the Movie starring Jeremy Hackett. Featuring casting coach. It's a hard cut and then fucking Jeremy's getting like throat fucked by a giant like squid monster or something. <laughs> squid monster. <laughs> right hentai. You, think you could write hentai? Yeah. Probably, yeah. He writes books, by the way. He wrote like yeah. books that are published online. And he never fucking... He, this guy literally, it like, never, every couple months would reveal something about himself that we had no idea about. It never and it's, like, it significant, bro. Well, like, now you know, I guess. Wait, this guy writes books. He writes hentai. You write, yeah. like, how long is the book? It's, like, 13 chapters. How many pages? How many pages? Well, that's something you'll have to find out for yourself if all you right, read it. On? Fucking Wattpad, bro. Wattpad, bro. Wattpad. Wattpad, bro. Jeremy, do you ever have plans of starting an OnlyFans? Well, I think that's enough fucking questions for tonight. No, seriously, do you? <laughs> nah, bro. I'm not. In, I don't like porn, bro. I hate porn. Well, what if you? What if you had like so many people asking for it? You were like, you knew you could make like bank. Would you do it? Well, shit. Maybe. No. No. It's, no. Like, it's not about money. Like, I can make money. It's it's more about, like, dignity. I respect that because porn is, like... I feel like porn is one of the worst things yeah. that, like, fucks up young men. And it'll, it's going to stick around for a long time, bro. Yeah, it's only going to get worse. Now we have VR porn. They're going to have holograms coming in your house and sucking Hologram. your wee-wee. Holograms coming in your Imagine house and sucking like your wee-wee. 30 years from now, <laughs> your kids are just sitting on the couch and they get, like, teleprompted a picture of your vintage porn. <laughs> your fucking ball sack standing out and shit. Your vintage porn. <laughs> vintage porn? You're yeah, looking at like ni- like VR projections of fucking 1950s Playboy magazines. Your nuts. <laughs> Why is it just your nuts hanging out? You fucking idiot. You're sitting there just looking at it with your balls out. <laughs> No, you're just sitting there looking at a nutsack. <laughs> it's a nutsack hologram. <laughs> He's jerking up the hologram nutsack. It's a fucking nutsack hologram, bro. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. You're such an asshole. <laughs>